Let's face it, night vision is cool. It's effectively a superpower that you can buy, but it's also expensive. And because it's so expensive, you wanna know definitively exactly what it is that you're getting before you purchase it. Night vision can range anywhere from $1,500 to $40,000 for quads, or even $50,000 like we're seeing with newer units from EOTech with their fusion goggles. Aside from the initial cost of the tubes themselves, none of this covers the cost of your helmet, a suppressor, a tack stamp, a G24 dovetail mount, your aiming laser, yeah, it's like I said, night vision is really expensive. What we'll do now is discuss five of my favorite, most affordable night vision housings, starting with the most affordable units and work our way all the way up. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. First, we start with the Humble PVS-14. It is a single monocular that goes over one eye as opposed to duals, which would go over both of your eyes, but we'll get there in a moment. A PVS-14 can be had anywhere from $1,500 on the secondhand market, going up to typically almost $4,000. You may be wondering why one PVS-14 may be $1,400 and another one is $4,000. Depending on who built and assembled the unit, the specs of the unit, who manufactured the intensifier tube, and which intensifier tube you have, either green or white phosphor, these are the factors that will have the greatest determination on the overall cost of the unit. At first glance, it's easy to overlook the PVS-14 due to it only being usable on one eye. However, with a PVS-14, you have a very versatile tool. Given that you have two of them can be given to someone in your family or your group, and now you have two people with the force multiplier instead of one. A 14 can also be bridged together to mimic a dual setup. However, doing this will result in added weight, which means more neck strain over extended periods of time, as well as now having two separate gain functions, two separate power knobs, and you'll also need to make sure you're utilizing a mount that's very sturdy so you don't have any issues with the heavier 14 staying in place once you start moving. A PBS-14 is an excellent entry-level cost-effective option for someone wanting to get into night vision who maybe can't afford a dual setup, but still wants to get their foot in the door. And now let's move into duels. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that a dual setup will increase their field of view, but that's not true. While it is true that your spatial awareness and your depth perception is gonna be a lot better since both of your eyes are seeing the same image, you're still getting a 40 degree field of view, the same way you would with a single monocular, only with duals, both of your eyes are now seeing that same 40 degree image. With that in mind, we're gonna move into RNVGs. Ruggedized night vision goggles can be had anywhere from $4,500 up to around $10,000, depending again on who built and assembled the unit and which intensifiers you go with. The other thing to consider is that this housing has no articulation of the pods. So if you wanna call a ceasefire and go mark targets, check your phone, or even wipe the sweat off your nose, You'll need to articulate the G24 to go nods up instead of being able to simply rotate the pods out of your eyes. So if a lack of articulation is an immediate non-starter for you, the RNVG probably isn't what you're looking for. Let's move on to the DTNBS. The dual tube night vision system from Acton Black is really lightweight coming in at around 17 ounces. DTNVSs have full articulation of the pods, so you don't have to mess with your G24 to go nods up. And when you do articulate the DTNVSs, they sit extremely flat, which for some reason reminds me of the front propeller on an airplane. DTNVSs can be had anywhere from $6,500 all the way up to $11,000 plus, dollars, depending again on where it was built, the intensifier tubes, and also if you decide to run a battery pack or not. Battery packs will give you increased runtime at the cost of, well, cost. Typically, they're at least $400. Battery packs can also be used as a counterweight if you so choose. Anyway, things to consider about this housing is that they're a little bit more fragile when contrasting with RNVGs, being made out of fiber reinforced polymer instead of aluminum. Also, this housing isn't made in America if that's important to you. DTMVSs are much more comfortable to wear for longer periods of time due to their ability to articulate, their overall smaller form factor, and their impressively lightweight. Being able to stow the pods so flat and tight is really great for low clearance areas when having antlers would really suck. The pods in the DTMVSs will also automatically shut off once you articulate them to minimize your backlight exposure. But once you bring them back down, they'll come right back on. If you have the disposable income, DTMVSs are an awesome choice, and everyone I know who's used them loves them, myself included. Now we'll get into number three, which is gonna be the RPNVG. This unit is a bit of a Goldilocks, and in my subjective opinion, housings like this are what I consider to be the next evolution in helmet-mounted night vision systems. The ruggedized panning night vision goggle still lacks articulation, but what it lacks in articulation, it makes up for in its ability to pan. Ruggedized panning night vision goggles are the newest iteration of RNVGs. They're exactly RNVGs, but now with the ability to pan the pods outward, as well as having the ability to remove one of the pods and run it as a separate monocular 
two PVS 14s essentially. Some of you might be thinking, why would I want to do that? And what does panning even mean? And what if I don't want to do the panning thing? Panning the goggles will allow for a wider field of view by almost double, giving you much greater spatial awareness and allowing you to simply just see more in your peripheral vision. Now this setup doesn't come without its own issues. The nice thing is though, if you decide the panning thing isn't for you, well you can just run the unit as a true 40 degree pair of regular RNVGs and you're good to go. Or you can break it down into two 14s for you and a friend. A really, really good friend. The last setup I'll discuss and the setup that I think is going to be my personal favorite is going to be the Pano Bridge, or something like the Code 4 Defense Panning Bridge. This bridge allows you to utilize two 14s as a true 40, or you can pan the monoculars and end up with a wider field of view. Now this may be jumping the gun so to speak since I have no hands-on experience with this setup yet, but I don't think I need any. Aside from the fact that it's not made from aluminum so its overall longevity does give me pause, the Pano Bridge lets me bridge two 14s, it's lightweight at 1.5 ounces, and if nothing else, the setup can be had for less than $6,000. Now I know what some of you are thinking. You're telling me for only $6,000 I'm getting duels, I'm getting a panning feature, and I'm getting articulation? What's not to love? Well. A lot. As I mentioned earlier, you now have two separate gain functions, two separate power functions, the potentiality for the monoculars to be bumped out of place when you're running and gunning, a bridge that's not made from aluminum so it isn't exactly duty grade, and on top of all of that, the weight of the two 14s are going to weigh more than RNVGs which are made out of 7075 aluminum. So basically I'm getting all of the weight of an RNVG housing, but none of the durability. However, what am I getting? Well, I'm getting an extremely functional dual tube setup that allows me a wider field of view that I can also share with a friend or a loved one for under $6,000. And when we're talking about dual tube night vision and my own subjective opinion, that's definitely saying something. The only drawbacks I can see with this system is the weight, the bridge not being made from a stronger material, and lastly, I wish I could set it at a fixed angle of my own choosing. Ultimately, guys, make sure you're buying your night vision from a reputable dealer, and I cannot stress that enough. Be absolutely certain you're dealing with someone who's reputable, who's not building tubes in their uncle's auto shop garage. This is truly an investment no matter which direction you decide to go. A 14 or a dual setup. So just be smart guys and don't get scammed. Also, don't get too caught up in FOM or specs or green versus white too much. Just buy what you can afford from a reputable dealer, then get out and train with your equipment. You can always sell it and move on to something else or like upgrade to something else if what you bought doesn't work out. With that being said, guys, this is Fully Kitted. Keep striving. I'll see you guys soon.